Hello and welcome to yet another Essence of Zen video. This is going to be a quick and short video. If you've uh, been reading up on, uh, or you guys watched the Android, uh, not Android, Google's I.O. this passing two days, depending on when this video comes out, you would know that Android came out with their studio, or Google came out with an Android studio, basically a type of IDE slash environment, you know, just a, a, kind of like Microsoft has their, um, what do they call those? You no, know, like Visual Studios, but they also have like their Express and whatever crap for C Sharp, C Plus. No, they have C Plus Plus? I think they do, I don't know. But Android finally came out with theirs. So, um,. I'm going to show you guys how to get that working. I'm trying to find the actual first portion of it, which is this thing. Ooh yeah! All right. So let's say you downloaded this. Uh, you know, you downloaded uh, Android Studio version 0.1 for Windows. There are also other platforms. You can do it here. And uh, if you're like me, when you when you downloaded it, you installed it, and you tried to run it, nothing happened. And it was kind of like, okay, what's going on? And then you came over here, you click this, and nothing happened yet again. Well, the reason for that is because it needs uh, the Java's uh, development kit, the JDK, and you need to have it set to a specific uh, system environment path. So what you want to do is you go to Java, or you can simply type in uh, JDK, all right, and then you're gonna see this Java SE downloads. You go here, and then you can go down to JDK and you click download. And then you want to click accept license agreement, and then you want to find your Windows. So this is you know, Windows 64 bit or Windows 32, etc. This one, so you download that, you run it, and you install it. Case closed for that portion. Next, after you install it, you want to find out where you install it. Like mine is in program files, Java, and I have the newest one right now. This is JDK 1.70 underscore 21. And then you want to go ahead and click this bar up here, and then you want to copy this path. Just copy that, you know, right click or control C. Next, you go to your start menu, and then you want to type in Enviro. Uh, Fire uh, meant variables, and I made a mistake the first time because I, I did this one instead for the account because I figured I'm admin yada yada yada, but it didn't really work off the bat. It probably still should. I'm not even sure. I gotta do some research on that. But you want to go to edit the system the environment variables. This window will come up, and then you want to type well you want to click environment variables. When you're here, you want to go to the system variables. And I've, I've already done it, but you want to click. Where did I, see, I did this right here. JDK home. So you want to do a new, and you want to type in JDK underscore home, and then you want to copy it or paste that uh, directory, that that uh, path that you copied earlier, and then you want to click OK. Now the name really doesn't have to be all caps, yada yada yada. It's just to help you remember and the, differentiate from the other variables. But you click OK and then boom, you're pretty much done. You're going to click um, this again and then after a while this is going to pop up. And then I haven't had any previous form of, you know, of uh, the, uh, the studio so I went with, with this one. Click OK and then it's going to do some weird loading that you guys can't see because it's on my monitor, monitor over here. I got dual screens going and you can't really see it. It's, it's really similar to the Eclipse Android SDK. But it has a different symbol, but it still has little rectangles and nexus phones. But eventually, you're gonna get this popping up here, and that really concludes this tutorial of how to get Android Studio up and running if you have problems getting anything to pop up after you click the program. Uh, we're gonna do more videos on the Studio later, but uh, I have to play around and mess around with it and talk to Lewis over it because Lewis is like my go-to guy for programming because he's freaking awesome and he knows he, he knows more Java than I do 
So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. If this helps, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it, uh, subscribe if you want to see more, um, share it if you, you got friends who have the same issues. Thanks very much for watching, and stay tuned for more.